Hi folks, my name is Robert and I'll be showing you here today how to uh, create a report uh, in uh, SQL Server Business Intelligence Development Studio uh, so that you can use it to print uh, labels. So we already have here the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio 2005 so obviously I'm using uh, SQL Server 2005 so let's create a uh, new project here. Uh, the name of the project doesn't really matter. You start by choosing Report Server Project Wizard and then the name you can give uh, whatever name you want to give it. So let's say maybe uh, Report Labels. So click OK. Um, let's just expand this window, click Next, um, click on Edit and here we're going to be choosing the server name and then we'll choose the database. So I have here two Northwind uh, database but one is in English, that's the one I'm going to use. Uh, you can test your connection, the connection is fine and you can click Next and now we go into the uh, Query Builder. Now here on the uh, Query Builder you can type in your SQL uh, statement but I'm going to use the uh, generic Query Builder so that you can look at the table. So I'm going to use the customers uh, table here and then I'll be choosing a company name, contact name, um, the address, city, the region, postal code and country so I think that's uh, that's more than enough now the next thing you have to do is to create actually a, a ranking system uh, for the data that you have just chosen so before I create that ranking let's just click here on run uh, and as you can see down here um, your uh, I mean the query has now uh, been made now to create this ranking uh, let me just increase here the view um, we're going to use the rank function, so rank um, over, let's just close this, and actually, let me just go back here, because what I want to do, actually, I'm going to use the customer ID, uh, because I know it's going to be uh, unique um, in this particular case. So let's copy here, customer ID, and now we can go for the rank, so rank um, over and here inside I'm gonna order this by R where R is just a uh, subset um, as rank so I can add a comma here from customers and then it's gonna be the R which is uh, my subset and then finally I'm gonna order this order by uh, rank. Okay, now you can run uh, this query again. You're going to get this error message, but you can ignore it. Just uh, click continue. And then you see here on the uh, left hand side uh, a rank, you know, for the data we have just queried. So you can click OK. You can click next. Uh, you can click finish. Uh, finish. Now, um, the Visual Studio is going to create, you know, this uh, silly report here for you, but we don't want that, so we can um, delete everything. So let me expand this uh, a little bit. Now, if you click here at the top, obviously, you know, you get the report. So you could right click on it and then choose uh, properties. And here on layout, I mean, I'll leave it as it is, but obviously, uh, depending on what kind of uh, label uh, you're using, so you will have to uh, change, you know, the page width, uh, page height, left margins, etc. Uh, but I'm not really particularly interested in this because this is just a demonstration so you know you can uh, sort this thing out later when you're you know printing uh, your own labels so let's go here to our two box we're going to choose here a list so I'm going to create a, a list here at the back I'll just expand this a little bit and then here on, on the properties uh, for the data set I'm going to choose the data set for the Northwind SQL underscore English uh, there is another way you can do this. You can actually right click on the um, list box and then go to properties and here under data set name uh, you could choose it you know just the same way I did uh, from the properties uh, window here on the right hand corner. Uh, now back to the uh, two box what we're going to be doing is adding some uh, text box that will uh, contain um, the text to be printed. 
So let's uh, create this first one. Uh, let's expand it a little bit. So we go here to properties and then the value. Uh, let's put here company name. Now you can go and copy this and paste inside um, the list box area here and change the property again and in this particular case we're going to choose uh, say the contact name and we can paste another copy of this text box in here and let's call this um, let's say the value here uh, the address so I, I won't put any more than this I think that's more than enough uh, for you to sort of uh, have on a, a rough idea how it's going to look like. Now you're going to right click again on your uh, list box and then you're going to choose properties and then you go to visibility and for the visibility we're going to uh, write here an expression so click on the FX and we're going to be using the if function and then here on the fields for the Northwind SQL uh, underscore English we have the feuds as you can see so you can double click on it so the feud is sent uh, to our function and then we're using the mod function and divide this by three so whatever is left over if it is equal to one then the result should be true otherwise uh, it should be false so that we can change the value of the uh, visibility through this um, through the use of this expression so let's just um, uh, in fact, hold on, let me just change this because uh, it should be false and true, not true and false because uh, the visibility by default is actually true so we want to make sure it's actually uh, uh, the opposite. So uh, click OK and you can click OK again. Now what we're going to do is simply copy um, this um, list box and then we're going to paste it uh, twice. So let's assume you know we have uh, three rows of uh, labels uh, to print just as happens with uh, you know the sample uh, database Northwind okay so for this one we're gonna go back to uh, properties and we're gonna change the visibility and in this particular case if it is equal to two then it's gonna be false true and finally for this one uh, if actually the uh, remainder of this division is equal to zero then it's going to be false and true so click OK and finally you are ready to um, run this uh, this report so you can click here you start debugging and hopefully if everything is fine then you should see uh, all your labels here so let's expand this and as you can see you have here Alfred Futekist, uh, Maria Anders, Albert Strasse uh, 57 and then you have um, all the other ones I mean obviously the spacing is not very good but you can change um, the spacing anytime so you can reduce it here without any problem so you can click on preview and now it's a little bit better so I hope you have enjoyed this trick um, if you want to um, learn anything else from Excel or SQL Server for example you can drop uh, me a line here on uh, YouTube so until next time my name is Robert